welcome back. Depression as a severe mental illness is in the spotlight following the death of UCT professor Bongani Mayosi, the 51-year-old world-renowned cardiologist and UCT dean of health sciences, took his own life last week. He had been battling with depression for the past two years. Experts say dealing with mental health is still a problem, especially among black men. Intellectual prowess, black excellence, and a very passionate man. These are the words used to describe Professor Bongani Mayosi. He's remembered not only as a brilliant academic, but also recognized for his involvement in student affairs. During the fees must fall protests, he was clear about his loyalties. The purpose of the picket here today is to highlight the problem of paralysis of the higher education system at the moment due to student protests who are protesting against high fees. And we are saying that the cause of the student is just and we support it. In 2009, Mayosi received the country's highest honor, the Order of Mapungubwe. So losing him is a huge blow. It's a huge blow for a university. Um, because of his scientific standing. Uh, I'm sure you'll have read that he's won every award that there is. Professor Mayosi has won it. Um, but we're not just losing a scholar at UCT. We're losing someone whose voice was very important. Mayosi's voice was important at critical times. Mayosi's death has sparked fresh debate about depression. Fellow academic, Stellenbosch University professor Lizette Rabe too has first-hand experience. She lost her 22-year-old son to the illness. He was a fourth-year medical student at the time. Rabe says depression knows no boundaries and can impact anyone. She started the Itemba Foundation to increase awareness about depression. I think f for any male, it's more difficult to speak because you've got to be the macho personality. And I think in, in our... Um, ethnic black cultures, it's even more difficult to speak because there are even more taboos in terms of uh, mental health issues. So I think we, we need to, to really open up. And in terms of Prof. Mayosi's um, death, he leaves such a wonderful and such a huge legacy but maybe the one unintended legacy is that we will now realize we need to speak up we we refer to a triad of depression that is your opinion of yourself your opinion of others and your opinion of the future or how to deal with the situation so very often there would be the sore feeling of i'm letting everyone down so people will be better off if I'm not here. The situation will sort itself out better when I'm gone. So those are the, the, the type of self-talk that they will have. Certainly it will be very often related to I'm guilty about something or I feel shame about something or I feel I've disappointed people, you know. And that is such a sad space to be in that people will feel, well, you know, um, I have to let the others um, let go of the situation and a way of doing that is getting me out of the picture. While UCT is still reeling in shock, it says it will mourn and celebrate the life of Professor Mayosi with the dignity and integrity that he embodied. Nomawe Tusolwandle, SABC News, Cape Town.